stages of cell division. So these are the critical activities that, or the key events that occur during uh, the process of interface. You can be able to look at them and ensure that you take notes. Now, what is the behavior of the cell at interface? Number one, the chromosomes are not visible but appear as granules. The chromosomes are not visible but appear as granules. Remember, we said that chromosomes are made of fine filaments, which we call the chromatin. Now, at this point, you cannot be able to see those fibers or those filamentous structures or uh, the strands. They appear as granules when the cell is actually dividing for, for cell division. And then, the nuclear membrane is fully intact, as seen in the diagram here. Yeah, you can be able to see that uh, the chromatin material, fully uh, threaded, highly coiled at the center of the nucleus, and then the nuclear membrane is intact, nuclear membrane intact, and then, of course, you can be able to observe the centrals, especially for the uh, animal cell. For the plant cell, these structures are absent for your information. Now, the first phase of mitotic division is the prophase. Prophase uh, means proceeding into mitosis. What are some of the behavior of the cell structure at this point? Number one, the DNA becomes more visible as chromosomes, and therefore they can be seen as homologous structures. They can be seen as homologous structures. Look at the red and the blue. These are homologous structures. You can be able to see the chromatids. The chromatids are attached at the centromere. They are attached at the centromere. Remember the specific point of attachment within the centromere is referred to as kinetoco. Kinetoco. That should not worry you. And then the centrals Remember, they form. They form at interface, but at prophase, the centrals move apart. That is, they migrate to the opposite poles. They start localizing themselves to the op opposite poles. And then the spinal fibers begin to form. The spinal fibers begin to form. These are the spinal fibers. The spinal fibers. And remember, they form from the centrioles. Then the second stage is metaphase. Metaphase. In this case, the spinal fibers attaches to the centromere. The spinal fibers have attached themselves to the centromere. They have attached. They have actually invaded the center of the cell and attached themselves to the centromere. And it is important to note that at this phase, the nuclear material, the nuclear membrane dissolves completely. Dissolves completely, of course, it, 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 for it to allow the free movement of homologous chromosomes as they align themselves to the equatorial plane. And therefore, the second activity is that the chromosomes line up at the midline of the center of the cell. That is what we call the equatorial plane, as observed here. So, at metaphase, the homologous chromosomes are aligned at the equatorial plane. And then, the spinal fibers invade the centromere, as seen here. And remember, the nuclear membrane dissolves completely, because... We need the chromosomes to be free within the center. Now, the third phase is the anaphase. In this case, the spinal fibers pull apart the centromeres. They pull apart, and therefore they form structures that resemble these as seen here. Remember, these are sister chromatids. This is a sister to, sorry, this one is a sister to the other one, the opposite pole, and then the blue sister to the other blue is the opposite pole. Therefore, during anaphase, the sister chromatids are pulled apart. They are pulled apart. Now, the pulling, uh, the reason as to why 
the sister chromatids are pulled apart is because of the shortening of the spinal fibers. Remember, uh, for the spinal fibers to invade the center of the cell during metaphase, they lengthen. But during anaphase, they shorten. Therefore, as they shorten, they pull apart whatever they have attached themselves to. In this case, the chromatids. The last phase is the telophase. Telophase. In telophase, the chromatids have reached their destination. The chromatids have reached their destination, which is the opposite poles, as can be seen here. They have reached their destination. And, and they, uh, they start, especially in uh, early telophase, they are thread-like. They are thread-like because, remember, this cell is actually preparing for another, type, another process of cell division because the first cycle completes a telophase, the second one a telophase, the, the third one in that order, in that order. So, once it completes, then this is the nature that we'll be able to see for the uh, chromatids. They appear thread-like. However, at late, at late uh, interface, they will have to take some dyes as they prepare into the, uh, into the. So, now we say that uh, during telophase, uh, the chromatids have reached the centrals, and therefore you are able to see that uh, there are two daughter cells that are forming from an initial one that was a single one. So at this, at this point, you can be able to see, to say that from one single cell, we already have two. And these two, daughter, two cells are referred to as daughter, daughter cells because they have identical, identical uh, chromosomal constitution. Now, in this phase of telophase, there are two important things that you need to note that at this point you can be able to differentiate between a cell, a plant cell dividing and an animal cell dividing. Now, for an animal cell, the cell membrane constricts. The cell membrane constricts in a process that we call cleavage. This is uh, the process of cleavage shall be discussed in later uh, uh, syllabus that is in other uh, units, but not in this. Whereas in plant cell, there is a formation of a new cell plate, the formation of a new cell plate at this point. And once the cell plate forms, it will develop into a cell wall. Then the daughter cells now will be able to separate themse themselves from the other. So the two daughter cells will be independent from a single uh, parent cell as we started from the point of interface. And finally, the DNA becomes non-visible and therefore it is uh, observed as chromatin. Now let's finalize by saying this, that by using the, the, by the, by using the spinal fibers, you are able to note that at, at prophase, the spinal fibers form. At metaphase, the spinal fibers lengthen and invade the nucleus and attach the cetrum. At anaphase, the spinal fibers shorten, pulling, uh, pulling the chromatids towards the opposite poles. And finally, they begin to decompose or disintegrate and they disappear at telophase. That is, you can be able to use the spinal fibers to tell the type of cell division uh, given. Now, let's uh, quickly look at the significance of the process of mitosis. Number one, ensures continuation or continuous succession of similar cells by conservation or retention of parental number of chromosomes. Remember, we start with the 2N, then we end with the 2N. Then number two, brings about growth. So this is the basis of growth. Then number three, brings about assimilation of new materials, especially 
when there is a wound. Remember the healing of wounds. Therefore, it brings about assimilation of materials to lead to healing of wounds. And then lastly, it is the basis of a sexual reproduction. As we said, in a sexual reproduction there are no gametes, except that the cell has ability, part of the cell has the ability to detach itself from the parent cell and then develop independently on its own. Such processes or such forms of asexual reproduction including binary fission in, in amoeba and bacteria, budding in yeast and even sporulation in the fungi amongst others. Thank you.